You're probably using JSON in a lot of your applications, but did you know that it's super supported in Azure SQL and SQL Server? Learn all about it and see some cool demos and get an inside look at a new private preview. This week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I have a special guest joining me, uh, UC from the SQL Server and Azure SQL product group. UC, thanks so much for joining us today. Hello. Thanks, Anna. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, it's super exciting to have you on the show. You're going to be talking about some existing stuff and some new stuff, I think, all in the realm of JSON for Azure SQL and SQL Server. Um, so I guess, like, let's just kick get right into it. I'm curious, like, can you use JSON with Azure SQL and SQL Server? And do people use it? And what do they use it for? Yeah, yeah. great question. Yes, uh, we can use JSON today in SQL Server from 2016 version onwards. And uh, it's also available in SQL Database and SQL MI. Uh, you basically store JSON documents in a regular string column, right? And then uh, we provide like many functions which are used to manipulate the JSON documents. And uh, you can also take uh, your relational data and present it as JSON to your applications. So it's just a very uh, easy and natural way of uh, kind of uh, interacting with the data, right? Just like any other data. OK, awesome. That sounds pretty cool. I know you prepared some demos, so I'd love to just kind of learn more about it as we go through a demo. Sure, well, sure. Maybe like a good starting point is, how do I store JSON in SQL and query it? Yes, yeah, great question. Uh, we'll now look at a quick demo. So basically, what I have here is uh, a table, right? Relational table. But I have a column here called uh, order info, right? And uh, this has a regular NVAR chart type uh, of a particular length. And there is this function called this JSON, right? Which basically says, hey, is the string column containing a JSON document. And in this case, I want to make sure it's a JSON object. And this is how your setup uh, would look for a typical table. right? And then inserting the JSON document is very straightforward. You basically insert it as a string in your insert statement. And uh, that's it. So you insert it like any other string data. and you can uh, see it, uh, like, for example, in my Azure Data Studio here. OK, cool. This seems pretty straightforward and easy to get set up. What about like changing items in the JSON objects? Like, How do we do that? Yeah, great. So now I have the same uh, JSON document here. I have, For this purpose, I've kind of stored it in a variable here. And what we're going to do is uh, change like the quantity in this JSON document. And it's basically some order basket information, right? And as you can see, you can change um, different properties, like uh, specific key value, or uh, uh, add a particular element at the end of the array, and so on. This is all done using this uh, JSON modify function, right? So execute it. You basically provide a document, you provide a path, and the new value. And uh, that's about it. It's very straightforward. In this example, I appended a phone number to the JSON document. So this nice. is one way to modify in place. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, so what else, what else can I do with JSON? <laughs> yes. So now one of the common things is, OK, you are in a relational database. So you may want to actually uh, query individual properties out of the JSON document, right? And then write uh, some other computations on top of it. So here is an example where I am extracting certain properties of a JSON document, and one just showing it to an application, right? The second query shows how you take those values and do some simple aggregations with it. So these are, again, straightforward operations. You give the string column and uh, basically a path, which uh, which is point something inside the JSON document. And that's about it. 
So as you can see, it's very simple to kind of manipulate it like a regular SQL table. Okay, got it. And then I guess going the other direction, like you showed me kind of how to aggregate in JSON, like what if I wanted to go from SQL to JSON, maybe like my app is using things in a mm -hmm. JSON format? Yeah, so let's look at that one. So in this example, I basically have a table and uh, first, what I'm going to do is actually take the JSON document and shred it into some relational format, right? So as you can see here, I'm taking out all the individual properties and storing it in a regular relational table, right? And here, the columns are all separate. So now I may want to transform it back to JSON, right? Because my application wants a JSON document. And this is how you would do it. So you call these functions like JSON object and JSON array. And this can be used to construct uh, you know, any complex shape, right? Like in this example, you get back the original uh, JSON document. Nice. And this kind of helps me put the logic on like the database side versus the application side, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because there are a lot of applications which uh, store the data in relational format, but now many of the interactions with other services are uh, done using some uh, JSON kind of uh, values, right? So in that case, you you can still store it in relational format, send the output as JSON, or similarly get the input as JSON and store it in relational, or even store it as this. Cool, thanks, UC. I think I learned a lot about JSON. I'm really excited to go get my hands on it. I know you're gonna put some links in the description so people can yes. go learn more and even see this sample. Of course, you know, I have to ask, anything new coming or like, what are y'all working on in the JSON space? Yeah, so one of the common feedback we hear from customers is, hey, is there a specific type for JSON, right? Uh, as you saw in the demo, you are storing it in a regular string column. Uh, so one of the things we are working on is a new native JSON type. So just like XML today in SQL Server and SQL DB, you will now have a JSON type and you can store these documents in a JSON type and the database engine optimizes the JSON document in a binary format and stores it, right? So this is now available for private preview in SQL DB. So that is something we are excited for customers to try it out and uh, give us the feedback. Cool, awesome. And are we sh gonna share a link in the description on how yes. it actually gets included in the private preview? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, cool. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much, UC, for coming on the show, talking to us about JSON, how it works really well in Azure SQL and SQL Server. Uh, to our viewers, hope you like this episode. Go ahead and leave us a comment, like this episode, let us know what you think of the new JSON capabilities. Check the links in the description for uh, ways to learn more and get the latest in the new private preview. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed. <laughs>